Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Randy Chambers with Louisiana Housing Authority and today we're going to discuss what is a short sale in the loss mitigation uh, option. But before we do that, make sure you click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell because I post real estate information like this all the time and you don't want to miss it. So first off, what is loss mitigation, right? I did another video about this in more details, but real brief, loss mitigation is to be able to mitigate the loss of a foreclosure, right? So the options that's available is things like a deed in loop, right? Well, you actually turn in the keys without the service provider going through the foreclosure process at the sheriff's sale. Um, a loss mitigation option could be a short sale that we get ready to discuss in this particular video. Another loss mitigation option could be a forbearance. Another loss mitigation option could be a repayment plan. Another loss uh, mitigation option could be a loan modification, right? So all those things is to be able to mitigate the loss from the lender standpoint to give you some options that you can take or would fit you best to be able to avoid the foreclosure, right? Now, let's particularly talk about the short sale. What a short sale is basically that you're shortening the amount of the balance owed. So for example, let's say you have a balance on a property of $150,000, right? That's your balance that you owe. But you talk to your service provider, your service lender and say, listen, I'm having a tough time. Here's my hardship. Would you guys consider a short sale, right? And if the lender says yes, then there's an application that you have to fill out. So you're going to fill out this application. It's going to be details, right? It's going to be very detailed like you're filling out a mortgage application for the first time. They're going to ask you for some documents, just like you gave your mortgage lender at the very beginning when you was going through the loan process. They're going to ask for pay, pay stubs, bank statements, tax return. They're going to ask for all these documents. So once you have the application, all these documents, you're going to compile them all together. You're going to send them over to your service provider for them to review it. And if they're okay with that, now they're going to say, yes, move forward with a short sale. And now you can actually list the property for sale. Uh, and hopefully that you get a buyer for full price. Uh, if the buyer does not offer full price and they short you, let's say again, you owe $150,000 on the house and you offering to sell a house for $160,000, right? So you can at least walk away with about $10,000 and maybe have enough money to pay for your realtor commissions, right? Uh, but let's say somebody come in, nobody purchased the property at the $160,000, nobody purchased it at the $150,000. But somebody say, listen, I'm going to pay only $125,000. So you go to your lender and say, hey, listen, I did get an offer for $125,000. Uh, would you guys accept that? And the lender may say, yes, we will. So they will move forward with a contract to purchase, to sell their house to that new buyer for $125,000. But you owe $150,000 on your balance. So that's a $25,000 difference. So once that property actually closes and the house is sold, then oftentimes what the market service is going to do is forgive you of that remaining $25,000 debt and not going to come after you and sue you for a deficiency judgment because the agreement was up front that they was willing to take that short sale. So that's what it means to go through a short sale, meaning that there's a short of funds to pay off the balance on your home. Now, keep in mind, if you take this loss mitigation option of a short sale, it will show up on your credit report and be a negative impact for at least three years, right? So just be aware of that. So I hope this information has been helpful to you. Um, if you want to learn more, I encourage you to give my team a call or visit us online, and we can schedule a free foreclosure prevention consultation with you to answer any other questions you may have, any concerns. So until the next video, I'll see you then, and have a great day on purpose. Take care.